Осінні жовті прапори давно майорять в Лос-Анджелесі, Каліфорнії. Для Американського університету UCLA це не тільки кольори України, а також кольори спортивних команд університету. Баскетбол, волейбол, європейський та американський футбол, плавання, спортивна гімнастика та теніс. Атлети цих команд називають себе медведиками, носять жовту блакитну форму, виступають за честь та рейтинг університету. Великі та малі коледжі Америки давно відомі спортивними грошовими стипендіями, які вони роздають американським та іноземним молодим атлетам, що показали себе на змаганнях, здобули результати, або стали переможці. Вітаю вас, шановні українці! Привіт! Мене звати Саша Ваграмов, я з Ванкувер, Канади. Моя мама з Харкова, Україна, і вона емігрувала до Германії близько 21 років тому. Моя мама з Черкаси, Україна, і вона емігрувала до Канади близько 17 років тому. Since we were young, our parents always wanted us to play a lot of sports. And when I was six years old, my mom wanted to put me into a little tennis club. I started tennis about seven and a half years old and progressed later on to joining the Canadian Federation when I was later around 12. And since then it has really changed my life. When I was around seven years old, my mom had this dream of me becoming a good tennis player and she actually went to the United States to the IMG Tennis Academy. Back then it was called the Boletari Academy and she wanted me to uh, learn how to play really good tennis and I was there for one year. Um, I joined the Tennis Federation of Canada around 12 years old. I started working with them since then until later graduating from high school, playing all over the world in small junior tournaments and then later committing to University of California, Los Angeles, also known as UCLA, uh, on a full scholarship. And uh, since then, I've been playing for that team for two years, studying environmental science, and uh, I'm just playing tennis, competing for the team, and also completing my degree while living in an amazing place like Los Angeles. Similar story, I also played a lot of ITF tournaments. I got to travel the world, and that's when I got recruited by UCLA, also playing tennis for the women's tennis team. It is one of the best experiences of my life. I absolutely love UCLA. I love being a Bruin, and it has been an absolute honor. And I don't think this would have been possible if I did not play tennis. In this year, the команді сталася історична подія. Вперше за історію університетського тенісу в команді зустрілися три тенісистки-вихідці з українських сімей. Ракетки українок привели команду на почесне четверте місце в Америці, підняли річний рейтинг та спортивні показники. Всі атлети UCLA та наші дівчата-тенісистки отримують спортивну стипендію та навчаються в університеті безкоштовно. Університет UCLA, до якого дуже важко поступити, навіть маючи прекрасний шкільний атестат та найвищі екзаменаційні бали, дуже радий прийняти хлопців та дівчат з усіх країн світу, якщо вони займаються спортом та показують результат. Закон під назвою «Тайтл-99» захищає права жінок при прийнятті до вищої школи. Якщо безкоштовне навчання пропонують сотням футболістів та баскетболістів, то така ж кількість місць надається дівчатам в інших видах спорту. Сім'ї трьох українських дівчат емігрували з України приблизно 20 років тому. Сім'я Вів'ян Вулф живе в Німеччині. Саша Ваграмова з Ванкувера, Канади, а Аннет Гулак з Каліфорнії. На корті та в житті дівчата розуміють одне одного дуже добре, бо мають одну культуру, одне українське коріння. Навчаються наші дівчата невідмінно. Цього року всі вони були на студентському колі пошани. А Нетгулак з Каліфорнії дістала нагороду за самий найкращий результат в навчанні, за вищі річні екзаменаційні бали. As a first generation uh, child of an immigrant family, I think sport really helped me in a lot of ways. Uh, I think it shaped me who I am as a person, made me really confident, made me um, appreciate traveling the world, learning new cultures, meeting 
people, uh, brought in my social skills, and ultimately gave me this amazing opportunity to compete and keep playing my sport while also gaining a degree at such an astounding university uh, where I can later either choose to continue playing professional tennis or uh, take my career further using my degree from UCLA. Um, and I think, you know, playing tennis has really opened many doors for me that otherwise would have been closed had I not taken that chance and really pushed myself. And I think as a girl also, it's an amazing opportunity to really um, use, your, use your voice and, um, you know, just take advantage of, of it. I believe that the United States is only probably the only country in the world where you can pursue your dream sport and also receive a world-class education. And because we're women, I think the fact that we can play tennis for this world-class, the number one public university in America and probably the, one of the best universities in the world just because we know how to play tennis is absolutely incredible and can't forget that we receive this great care and for free mm -hmm. and this would have not been possible if our amazing immigrant parents didn't complete the journey and showed us this beautiful sport. Yeah, and I think it's also really amazing to have three Ukrainian girls on a team like UCLA, such a prestige school, you know. We talk about it all the time, how it's such a special occasion, it never happened before and might, might happen, might never happen again. So, you know, we're really honored and proud of our roots and, you know, you don't forget about it. Once you move to a new country, your heritage stays with you throughout your whole life. And Ukrainian culture has been um, surrounding my daily life at home ever since I was a kid. I speak uh, the language at home with my parents. We eat the, you know, the food, learn about the culture. It doesn't go away that you, now that you move to a new country, it stays with you. So there's a lot to be proud of. And um, I think it's a really special thing. I think for girls, it's really amazing to take advantage of sport. I think it can really change who you are as a person for the better, you know, make you more confident, uh, learn how to use your voice, um, appreciate your body. It's just an amazing thing. And, um, you know, I strongly suggest for all young girls to go put yourself out there, figure out what sport you love. And, you know, you never know if you put in that effort and you put in the work. Uh, you can, it can take you to places where you would never think. It would take you to places all around the world, take you to a world-renowned university in a place like America, get you a degree. It's just a really beautiful thing. We highly encourage you to try any sport that you like, volleyball, softball, lacrosse, anything that you think that you might be good at or you will enjoy, most importantly enjoy. It will get you very far in life, especially in the beautiful country that is America. And I mean, we even wear the blue and yellow colors to represent Ukraine, the country that will stay with us forever and absolutely encourage everyone, all, especially girls, to pursue their dream. Very well said. And now a super political question for you, Viv. All right. Borscht or sushi? Borscht, I actually.